Welcome back. All right, so today, Jason Spezza has announced his retirement from the National Hockey League. And you know what that means, a career video. And so for Spezza, it's been quite the career. He spent most of it in Ottawa. I debated about whether or not to wear Ottawa or Toronto, and I went with Ottawa, even though, yes, Toronto is his hometown. He is going to stay with the Toronto Maple Leafs organization. He will be, he'll be an assistant to Kyle Dubas. And so, yeah, um, I'm, I'm glad to see Toronto's keeping him around. Uh, I, I, on some level, wish he'd gotten to that 1,000-point mark, but I think he's got to be pretty happy with the overall body of work that he put in for his career. Uh, now, at times, he's had an expensive contract, uh, which fans may or may not have agreed with, but honestly, very good career overall. Now, he's a number two pick in 2001, and the Ottawa Senators really seeing a star here. He makes his debut for them in 0 2 3 33 games, 7 goals, 14 assists, 21 points. The great debate about Jason Spezza early on was, should he be in the minors? Should he be in the NHL? Should he be? And he was insistent. He was ready for the NHL. He only wanted to play in the NHL. Played three playoff games that year. One goal, one assist for two points. Then the following season, 0 3 4 78 games, 22 goals, 33 assists, 55 points. Good totals, but that, that debate was still out there. Did he need more time to develop before being brought up by the Sens? Is he being rushed? And, and there was no debate in his mind. He wanted to play in the NHL. He wasn't going to go to the AHL. He didn't want to go back to juniors, anything like that when it was asked of him. And in the playoffs, he plays three games, no points. I really still think Jason Spetz is a good example of how a lockout can be a good thing for some players. The 0405 season, there's no option for him other than the AHL. And he had a fantastic year in the AHL. 117 points playing for the Binghamton Senators. And he was league MVP. So, you know, he played very, very well for the Sens. The, the baby Sens that year, however you want to phrase it. And so, going into the 0506 season, we were all interested to see... Well, first of all, we were interested to see any kind of hockey on the ice. Because we hadn't seen any in over a year. But we were interested to see how Spatza would do. And he was fantastic. 68 games. 19 goals, 71 assists, which was second in the NHL that year in 90 points. So definitely, you know, a setup man or that early in his career. But the 90 points tells you that year in the AHL did him some good. Uh, and then in the playoffs, 10 games played, 5 goals, 9 assists, 14 points. So very good playoffs in that year. 06-07, uh, he continues that. 67 games, 34 goals, 53 assists, 87 points. You look at that 995 points, and you think, you know, if not for injury, he would have easily passed 1,000. Yes. So, with that 87-point season, uh, again, he's now living up to expectations in the playoffs. They go all the way to the Stanley Cup Final in 07. Plays 20 games, 7 goals, 15 assists, which was tops in the league that year in the playoffs. 22 points also tops in the league in the playoffs. Uh, so the idea of somebody putting up a ton of points in the playoffs, there were many years where that wasn't necessarily a thing. Uh, Spezza leads the league in scoring that year. 07-08, 76 games played, still with the Sens, obviously. 34 goals, 58 assists, which was 7th in the NHL. 92 points, which was 6th in the NHL. So again, very good star player in the playoffs. Four games played, just the one assist. And he did play in the All-Star game for the first time in his career that year. 2008-2009, a bit of a drop in terms of points per game, but he played every game. 82 games, 32 goals, 41 assists, 73 points. So again, solid season. Uh, no playoffs that year for, for Ottawa. 2009-2010, 60 games, 23 goals, 34 assists, 57 points. So again, he misses 22 games with injury. In the playoffs, 6 games played, 1 goal, 6 assists, 7 points. 2010-2011, uh, 62 games, 21 goals, 36 assists, 57 points. Remarkably consistent those two seasons. And so no playoffs that year either. 2011-2012, 80 games played, 34 goals, 50 assists, which was ninth overall in the NHL, 84 points, which was fourth. So again, he's one of the better scorers in the league. And when he's healthy, he can get into the top 10. In the playoffs, seven games, three goals, two assists, five points. And he played in the All-Star game again that year. That is the second and final time he plays in the All-Star game. Now, 2012-2013 is a year he'd like to forget. Just the five games played. It was a lockout short in season, but it wasn't that short. Two goals, three assists, five points. Now, he did play three playoff games in the second round that year. Uh, had the one assist. He ended up missing most of the regular season and the entire first round and part of the second round with a back injury. So, that took him out of Ottawa's lineup. And again, 
Um, there's a lot of opportunities here where he would have likely scored a bunch of points that would have helped his career total. 2013-2014, what would turn out to be his final season in Ottawa. 75 games, 23 goals, 43 assists, 66 points. And money, right? And money and all that fun stuff. Uh, so the Ottawa Senators decide uh, they're going to they're gonna trade him. And he would eventually go to Dallas. But first, Ottawa worked out a deal with Nashville. And Spezza rejected that. He had a mod- modified no-trade clause. And so Nashville was a no-go for him. So instead, on July 1st that year, he's traded with Ludwig Carlson for a 2015 second, which was traded to New Jersey and became McGenzie Blackwood, uh, Alex Chason, Alexander Guptel, and Nick Paul. Of course, Nick Paul staying with the Senators until this year when he was traded to the Tampa Bay Lightning. So that deal didn't age well for Ottawa in the beginning. That first year in, in Dallas, 82 games, 17 goals, 45 assists, 62 points. Obviously more than anything that Ottawa had gotten for him. But he signed a deal with Dallas that paid him $7.5 million a year. What that does is it puts $7.5 million worth of expectations on the player. So that 62 points was seen as kind of a disappointment. 13 games in the playoffs, 5 goals, 8 assists, 13 points. So a good playoff after a kind of disappointing regular season. The following year, 2015-2016, 75 games, 33 goals, which was 10th in the NHL. The goal scoring's there. Only 30 assists, 63 points. So the points still below a point per game in the playoffs. 11 games, 3 goals, 2 assists, 5 points. So uh, the contract is moderately okay, fine. But the following season, he plays 68 games for Dallas. 15 goals, 35 assists, 50 points. And that's where that $7.5 million is kind of weighing him down, right? Uh, then the following season, the offense is is gone, essentially, at Dallas. 78 games, 8 goals, 18 assists, 26 points. And it was kind of a retirement watch at that point. 2018-2019, what would be his final year in Dallas? 76 games, 8 goals, 19 assists, 27 points. I'm going to be honest. Um, I didn't think he had anything left. I thought that his career was basically kind of done. Um, I you know, I thought, well, he's had a good career, but that's that's probably about it. I, I don't know that he's going to continue. But Jason Spezza had a plan. He wanted to go home. He wanted to go to Toronto. And July 1st of 2019, he got that wish. He signs his UFA, and it's a league minimum contract. Because for Spezza, he had made all his money with Ottawa and Dallas. Now he's playing for the love of the game. And he's not worried about being a top six guy. He's not worried about goals and all that. He's worried about helping the team. So that first year in Toronto, 58 games, 9 goals, 16 assists, 25 points. The point totals are, you know, okay, fine. But when you consider point per game, he actually played better than he did the final two years in Dallas. And I thought he played much better than he did the final two years in Dallas. There were times in Dallas where, as a Stars fan, I felt like he was maybe kind of checked out. Um, You know, I wouldn't have been that surprised if there was video of him at the bench looking at Toronto real estate listings during a Dallas game. But hey, you know, he didn't do that. Um, and the big controversy with him that year was that Mike Babcock scratched him the opening night game against Ottawa. And I still don't understand why that happened. I still, that's still one of those things is just baffling and befuddling, which if, if you know Mike Babcock's history, he would do that. He would scratch guys in, in weird games or just, you know, uh, sit them on the bench and, and just, there's always that, that side of things with Mike Babcock. So 2020. 2021, he plays 54 games for the Leafs. 10 goals, 20 assists, 30 points. Again, I thought he played well. And then in the playoffs, he was one of the Leafs' better forwards. They they play, He played seven games, three goals, two assists, five points. Five points in seven games for Spezza at that point in his career. Fantastic. So he had a good playoff. 2021-2022, uh, the year we just finished, 71 games, 12 goals, 13 assists, 25 points. So his points totals have dropped back down to around where they were in Dallas. But... Again, I thought the 12 goals, I thought that was that was decent. And so there's a reason why, even though he only played the five games in the playoffs, had the one assist, we could look at Spets and think, well, he might come back for another year, right? Maybe he'll do the Joe Thornton, Patrick Marlowe thing where eh, maybe next year, maybe next year, maybe, maybe he'll kick that can down the road another year and play for Toronto again. Instead, he's opted to retire. Uh, 1,248 games played, which is 97th on the all-time list. 363 goals. 632 assists, which is 80th on the all-time list. Uh, 995 points, which is 94th on the all-time list in terms of scoring. In the playoffs, 97 games, 28 goals, 48 assists, 76 points. At the World Championships in 2015, he got gold. 
He had silver in 2008 and 2009 at the World Championships as well. The World Juniors, he had silver in 2002. He had bronze in 2000 and 2001. Uh, he was the third 16-year-old to play at the World Juniors, uh, Gretzky and Lindros being the first two. So, no pressure. You're now in the same same breath as Gretzky and Lindros. Again, the expectations for Spezza were maybe a little bit too high going into his draft year. And then he won gold at the Spengler Cup with Team Canada in 2012. So, overall, a very solid career for Jason Spezza. Uh, a player who I, I don't think he ends up in the Hall of Fame. I, I think that's probably not going to happen. But I do think Ottawa probably retires his number. Let me know if you're a Sens fan if you think they retire his number. And I wish him all the best. Uh, he always seemed like he was he was smart when it came to all the hockey stuff. And so if he learns the job from, from Kyle Dubas, and if he asks around in the Toronto organization, he might have a very good future in the NHL in some executive capacity. So uh, I always like when a player retires, and at the same time it's announced, by the way, they're staying with the team, they're staying in the league, they're doing something else. Uh, I always like that. When they, when they don't just retire, when they have a plan as well. So plans in place, we'll see how it goes. Uh, so all the best to Jason Spezza. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.